Hey, what's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Sons of the Forest video. In this one, I'm going to be showing y'all some unreleased content uh, by spawn commanding it into the game. Uh, I figured you guys would find this interesting. And what the heck? That bird was just eating that starfish. <laughs> I've never seen that before. But uh, yeah, uh, if you guys do find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can get this video to surpass a thousand likes. That'd be awesome to see. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of these. I got quite a bit to show you here. First things first, I wanted to show you all the rifle that is currently in the game files, but unfortunately we're not able to get this in the game quite yet, legitimately. Actually, all the things I'll be showing you, you aren't able to get these legitimately yet. Alright, so I just spawned in the rifle. As you can see, here is what it looks like. Now keep in mind, these are glitchy. Because they're not technically polished yet by the developers and in the game so so yeah don't take how you're seeing it currently seriously by the time we will be able to get these legitimately in the game it'll be way more polished but yeah this is how i hold it currently my character's holding it goofy right now but this is what it will look like let me see if i can actually shoot it i don't know i've never tried Let's see what it sounds like Okay, so that's what it sounds like. I don't know if they have plans to change that at all or not. But yeah, it also seems like there will be a scope attachment for it. As you can see, here's what it will look like. That'll be pretty convenient to use with it. Anyways, moving on. Hey, another bird. Coming to eat the starfish again? No? Alright, moving on. This next one I have for you is called the air gun. Oh, wow. It just went through the sand. Oh, my. You gotta be kidding me. Can it land on anything? Can I show you this at all? Ah, my goodness. Just keeps falling through the ground. Got it. Alright. It's in my hand. Now I'll just go into free camera mode. There we go. So that's what the air gun looks like. That took me long enough. <laughs> looks pretty cool. Interesting, it's called air gun, so I think it's like an airsoft gun. I'm not positive though. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. Yeah, unfortunately it's not letting me shoot at all with the air gun. But, oh well. At least you get to see what it looks like and that eventually it will be in the game for us to get. Anyways, this also comes with a scope too. It's called the air gun scope. As you can see, here's what it looks like. Much smaller than the scope that we can get with the uh, bolt action rifle. I wonder if they're going to have any automatic rifles too in the game. Either way, neat to know that these will be coming. But uh, this next thing I'm going to be showing you all is a climbing axe. This could be really handy. I could see this being really handy for climbing trees and the mountains and whatnot. Uh, go ahead and spawn it in. As you can see, here is what it looks like. Looks sweet. You can actually see the full model of this one, and my hands are actually on it. 
I can't swing it or nothing. Let's see, can I use it on the tree? Nope. It's not letting me. Either way, I could see this being useful for climbing trees and uh, climbing mountains once again. Oh snap, it's not even letting me, it's not letting me put it down. <laughs> oh well, let's carry on. I'll just reload my save here. Anyways, moving on, there's also a battery charger. See this being handy to charge your flashlight on the go. Instead of looking for batteries. Battery charger collected. Doesn't show up in the inventory though. Don't know exactly where it would be placed. There's also a sleeping bag that hasn't been released yet. Pretty awesome. Glitchy, of course, right now. That's what it looks like, and you can save and sleep in the sleeping bag. Definitely will be convenient. Anyways, there's also a crossbow quiver that hasn't been released yet. There's also this radio that we can actually pick up. <laughs> Pretty neat. This will be an easy way to take a radio back to our base besides using Kelvin to do so. There's also something called creepy skin. Not the same as creepy armor. Not sure what that'll be used for. But yeah, that's just a few of the things that'll be coming. There's also some other things that we'll be releasing in the game too that are in the game files. Such as Virginia's leather suit, night vision goggles, binoculars, a 3D printed scuba mask, a 3D printed flower pot, a 3D printed arrowhead, and a 3D printed knife just to name a few. If you know of anything that's going to be coming in the game that I didn't show or name, feel free to leave it down below in the comments. I'm definitely interested in seeing what's to come for Sons of the Forest. I know it has tons of potential, especially with the story. I feel like they can really add on to the story to make it even more interesting. Right now, I'll be honest, it's a little off at the moment, but who knows what's in store for this game. Hope you all found this video enjoyable, and if you did, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Let's see if we can get this to once again surpass a thousand likes. That'd be awesome to see. But yeah, I'm out of here, though. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.